everyone. Today's video tutorial will show you how to get the lighting features working after upgrading from small mirrors to towing mirrors on your 2021 or newer Ford F-150 without requiring a reflash of the vehicle's control modules. After swapping the mirrors, the running lights will not work and only the two LEDs facing the rear will flash. This will get the full light working as a running light and signal, all while maintaining the two rear LEDs as turn signal only. In order for turn signal to work, your original mirrors must be previously equipped with turn signals. If they weren't, please reference a separate Boost Auto Parts video. Our signal and running light mirror harness comes with two modules and two wiring adapters. With that said, let's get into it. Before you begin, make sure to disconnect the negative battery cable using a 10 millimeter socket. Once disconnected, we can begin working on the door panel. Using a trim tool, take off this triangular trim panel covering the mirror connector. Pressing down on the locking tab, pull out the mirror connector. Next, pull out the retaining clip. With a knife, carefully cut back the tape so you have better access to the wiring. Avoid damaging any wires in the process. Now you're going to take the wire at pin 12. Typically, this is a blue and white wire as shown here, but you're gonna to want to go off pin location because wire color may vary. Pin 12 is located on the bottom row, first slot from the left. Go ahead and cut the wire a few inches down from the connector, making sure you have plenty of exposed wire. After that, you can strip both ends of this wire. Next, you're going to be plugging the wire adapter to the module. The orientation of the module is very critical. The side with one wire is the output and needs to go towards the mirror. Take the wire that's by itself on the module, crimp the blue and white wire attached to the black connector into the butt connector as shown here. Grab the orange wire from the adapter harness with the butt connectors pre-installed on it. Install the other end of the blue wire into this butt connector. These are heat shrink butt connectors. You can use a heat gun to seal the connections. Next. Locate pin 22 on the black connector. Pin 22 is located on the bottom row, first slot from the right. The wire we're interested in will likely be a fully black wire or a black wire with white stripes. Go ahead and use the provided T-tap to tap into this wire. On the harness provided by Boost Auto Parts, take the black wire with a quick disconnect pre-installed on it and plug it into the T-tap. Similarly, locate pin seven for the turn signal. On our vehicle, this will be a green wire with brown stripes. Pin seven is located on the top row, fifth slot from the right. Use the provided T-tap to tap into this wire. Then connect the blue wire with a quick disconnect on the Boost Auto Parts provided harness to plug into the T-tap. With that done, go ahead and plug in the mirror connector. Tuck the module down as shown here. The triangular trim panel can now be reinstalled. The procedure is the same on the passenger side of the vehicle. Next, locate the body control module. This can be found on the passenger side footwell on the right. Remove this kick panel by pulling out at the rear of the panel. Locate this BCM connector. It is the third up from the bottom. Remove this connector by depressing this tab and sliding down the lock lever. Pull the connector down and out to fully remove it. To remove the back dust cover, press this middle tab in using a pick. Then lift the cover off. After this, cut the tape holding the cover on for better access. Then, locate pin 12 on the BCM connector. For this specific vehicle, the wire is blue, but use pin location as your primary reference as wire color may vary. Go ahead and install the provided T-tap on the wire in pin slot 12. Place the other T-tap onto the wire in pin 30 on the same connector. This is most likely a green wire. Next, take the Boost Auto Parts jumper module and plug the blue ring side into the T-tap on pin 30. Plug the other side of the module into the T-tap on pin 12. Once that's done, you can reinstall the dust cover starting at the rear, then bringing the front down, latching it into place. Line up the connector with the BCM. The white lever will face towards you. Place the connector into the BCM, then slide the lock lever back up. This will secure the connector into place. Reinstall this trim panel by inserting the front side first, then press the back side into place. Finally, reconnect the battery cable. Use a 10 millimeter socket to secure it. And there you have it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. The Boost Auto Parts dual function signal and running light mirror harness can be purchased on our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts also offers a wide range of parts and accessories for your truck or SUV. 
Stay up to date on new product releases and more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's all for now. Catch you on the next one.